Hey YouTube, just want to make a quick video on my Gator 620i. Um, it's a 2008, and uh, if you're maybe in the market for a used UTV, I think this is a great one to consider just because, uh, you know, parts are relatively available for it. Um, you know, it's got a Kawasaki 23 horse fuel injected motor. You know, and when John Deere built this, you know, they really kind of made it for utility and a little bit of sport. I really guess it depends on the application that you want. I mean, I bring mine up to camp. We work with it, go riding a little bit. I don't do a ton of trail riding um, with this vehicle. I mainly just do a lot of running around with it. You know, but it is fuel injected, so you don't have to worry about, um, you know, starting. I mean, on the coldest of days, this thing fires right up. Gotta make sure it's in neutral too. And you know, I didn't pay a ton for this. I paid six grand and then made a couple modifications. But this one had the hydraulic dump lift on it. You know, which is really nice if you're going to be uh, hauling gravel or anything. Just a couple modifications I made. Um, I put fender guards on it. I put two new fenders. That was about $1,000 um, just because the fenders got cracked on it. Um, I think I paid me 400 bucks for the windshield. And then uh, I put some LED lights on the front. As well as the back. This machine currently has 519 hours on it, roughly. Um, I mean, a couple cosmetic things. I mean, the seat's ripped. You can get a new seat if you really wanted to for probably 100 bucks. Um, you know, you can see that gas gauge cluster, you know, for the fuel is a little foggy. Um, but, you know, other than that, I really can't complain about it. It's pretty good on fuel. You know, it's got two and a half inch receiver on the back. You know, tires are getting a little bit wore on it, you know, but it's got four wheel drive and a lock and rear differential. Um, highly recommend a bed liner in one. You know, otherwise your bed's getting all beat up and scratched. I mean, you lift that up and it still looks like brand new underneath. I also like the floor mats. You know, I think that's another wearable thing that you see on gators. You know, the floorboards get wore off them. Um, I like the brush guards, you know, just because these are uh, plastic, you know. But then again, they're not getting dented or scratched up. But, I mean, like I said, if you're looking for uh, a used UTV, I highly consider uh, the Gator 620i. Like I said, there's a ton of these around. Um, you can find them. It's just... Uh, you know, maybe you have to replace a belt or something. Another thing to check if you're buying a used one, um, I, one of the things I did have to do, but that uh, CV boots. Always check your CV boots. Uh, make sure they're not uh, punctured. You know, a lot of times people take them trail riding, a stick or something gets shoved up under there. Um, you know, always check your fluids. I did have to put a battery in it. I mean, put a battery at the John Deere dealership was like 40 bucks. You know, very reasonable. Got your air filter over there. And I mean, you can you can obviously tell too. I'll lift the back up one more time. I mean, I try to wash it every once in a while. But I mean, you can see how clean the motor is under there. I get the fluids changed in it every year. But like I said, they're, I mean, you can see how thick the frame is. I mean, they're just solid built, you know. I mean, John Deere doesn't make junk, you know. And uh, like I said, if you go to resell it, you know, that green paint's going to get you some money back out of it too. So, but, and like I said, I highly recommend a windshield and a roof. You know, you don't realize it, but if you're in colder climates, um, going to take it, you know, it gets pretty cold right in this thing when it's, 40 degrees out and the wind's blowing you back in the face so you get like a light rain so anyways comment below if you guys want to know some more information about uh my john deere 629i 
Gator, just comment below. Thanks guys, have a great day.